Hi guys, welcome. I haven't uploaded a video in a hot second because I've just been using this time to reset. I've been having a lot of discussions with my friends and my family because of what is going on in the world, the change that is happening, which is emotionally heavy but so beautiful at the same time. And I know that on my channel I've never really talked about these things, not because I didn't want to, but more because I like to have a fully formulated opinion, mostly because the internet kind of doesn't allow for a change in opinions, so that's why I always feel like I have to have my like solid opinion. But in a time like now, it is so important to normalize changing your opinion when you become more educated. So all of the black POC voices that are being amplified right now um, are so important to listen to Black Lives Matter. And with my platform, I wanna to stress to you to do your research and know what you're signing these petitions and whatever you've seen online for. Do your research and know what you're fighting for because that is the only way to create everlasting change is to listen and to understand. So in the spirit of speaking up and not being afraid to talk about things, and this is not to take away from the black POC voices right now, but I did want to share that mixed people do exist and I'm a mixed person of mixed race um, and recently someone essentially, at least it's how I received it, tried to silence my voice as a person of color based on a very closed-minded assumption that they made about me. I am a person of color. Um, I'm not always trying to beat you guys over the head with my Kamal that I'm half Mayan. I am American but I was not born or raised here. I was born and raised in Belize in a Latin American slash Caribbean culture as well as Mayan culture because I was raised with my mom's family. So before you go, Maya is an ethnicity, not a race. I looked it up and I am half ethno-linguistic group of indigenous people of Mesoamerica and half Caucasian. So this is all to say that nothing gives someone the right to talk down or tell them what to do based on an assumption that you made about them and that is a big part of the problem right now. As I said in my last video, be a good person, do your research, and educate yourself. So yeah, uh, in the future I hope to share more of my culture and to be more courageous to talk about things like this. So yeah, I think that's it. I will have some Black POC Voices resources linked down below, so enjoy the vlog.
Thank you.